I'm Kevin Terrace. I'm currently a paleontology major at Montana State University, and I'm the guy who discovered Joe. Joe is a skeleton of a baby Parasaurolophus. Everyone you know who knows dinosaurs knows Parasaurolophus. It's this iconic dinosaur that has this big tube sticking off the back of its head. And with this skeleton now, we understand how that animal grew, this big crest. It, you know, it started growing it very early compared to all of its relatives. And these sorts of evolutionary transformations were what allowed this animal to get its really bizarre headgear. Our museum is on a high school campus, and one of the things we do with these students is we take them out into the field to find fossils. I was with a group of uh, three students, and one of them spotted a little piece of bone sticking out of the side of a boulder. We were hiking up this ridge, and I saw the sudu, which is a mushroom-shaped rock sticking out of the ground. So I decided to pop under it and just look up under it and found a bit of bone sticking out. I looked at it from a distance a couple feet away and it looked like just a fragment of, you know, maybe dinosaur ribbons, something that's not very scientifically interesting. Then I walked around to the other side of the boulder and there's a cobble sitting there. I picked up that rock and I turned it over and there's this dinosaur skull staring back at me. So if you have the skull on one side of the rock and you have the toes on the other side, you have the whole dinosaur in between. So that was pretty exciting when we realized what we actually had found. Finding a uh, articulated skeleton is the dream of every paleontologist. But then, as more information came in on the species and the age of the specimen, it just got better and better. Uh, so this is the skull of the baby dinosaur. And we have a couple main things to point out. First of them is the eye, right here. The ear would have been back in this area. And the nose was actually right here on the skull. But the most uh, probably notable thing about this animal is this bump right on top of the skull right here. This is the crest. The crest was uh, formed out of the nasal passages and the surrounding bones. In adult Parasaurolophus, um, it grew to this long tube that would have extended way, way, way back over the head. Um, but in our little guy here, it's just this little bump. And that's interesting because it shows that Parasaurolophus changed the shape of its skull quite a bit as it grew up. And it gets even more interesting when we compare the skull of this baby dinosaur with the skulls of other related plant-eating dinosaurs, other duck-billed dinosaurs. They have much simpler crest shapes. Uh, for instance, it might be just something that's shaped about like this. And um, they didn't start growing their crests until they were about half of adult size. Our skull is about a fourth of adult size. That means this animal was starting to grow its crest much, much earlier in life than any of its relatives.